something really important to know about a stick. And a stick could be like a collie stick, it could be a baseball bat, it could be a riot baton, it could be a tactical flashlight. When somebody hits somebody in anger, when the pressure is down, almost always it's this angle that they end up hitting. It's called a number one in Kali. Basically it's coming kind of at this angle. It's coming here, 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 right? Kind of in there. Yes, there are all kinds of other hits in uh, Kali and stick fighting. You know, they're hit this way, you hit upwards. But the reality is, when push comes to shove, most of the time it's this. That's true of untrained people, it's true of riot cops, it's true of high level stick fighters. They rely on this number one all the time. So, basically, if we're here, Richie's going to hit it as hard as he can. Go hard. There. That's what it's going to look like and if he's really mad, he's going to hit me twice. One, two. So, what is my reaction? So this is something that I learned this is something I knew, but then I learned it at a deep intuitive level back in the day, putting a fencing helmet on, putting little gloves on, and going, okay, you try and hit me as I come in. And my fencing helmet's out of, not in this room right now, so I'm not going to do it. But basically, trying to close the distance from here to here without him hitting me. And my training partners really were trying to hit me. It's a great proposition to go to a training partner. Hey, here's a stick, hit me with it, and all I'm going to try and do is clinch. So, if we're here, right now, I am out of the danger zone. If he tries to swing at me without moving your feet, extend your arm fully, like as lean as far as you can. Okay, so I am safe, right? I've got a, I don't know, 12 inches of, of distance. If I'm here, this is the danger zone. Not only am I able to get hit, he can hit me with the last third of the stick. This is where all the power is. This is the worst place to be. If I'm here and he clubs me, or he could hit me with a punyo. That's still bad, but this is where my skull explodes. So, what I learned at a deep level <laughs> was that it's really dangerous to be half pregnant. If I'm facing a stick, empty handed, and by, again, by stick I mean any blunt impact weapon, I have to cross that chasm with total and utter commitment. I can't edge into it. I can't put my toe into the water to, to do the temperature. Otherwise, this happens. We'll do this in slow motion. And he hits me. And he's, if he goes fast, go fast. Exactly. That's bad. So I'm either way the hell away, I'm at the end of a stick, plus another 12 inches for safety, or if he retracts like he's doing right now, do you see how his hand is going back? This is a tell. A good stick fighter doesn't do this or does this very subtly, but if I watch that hand retract, go ahead, that's, that's my opening. And the typical crash is something like this. Go ahead, we'll do this in slow motion. As he goes, here. Because at least if I screw up and he hits me, go ahead, hit me, it's going to hit my arm. It's going to hit my uh, tricep. It's not going to hit my head. Also here, if I continue in, it leads very nicely into the overhook and the collar tie. This is way better. Now, there's a whole lot of fighting that can happen here. He's got all kinds of fancy attacks, fang chokes, takedowns, joint locks, close range hits, all that's true, but the devastation of the single hit to the temple isn't there anymore. He's got to be way more skilled. So I've got a defense that deals with 90% of attackers, 90% of attacks from 90% of attackers. So we're here. So Richie, what we're going to do, retract and hit. Just go fast. Faster. Faster. Like boom, boom. He's going to do there. The drill is going to be this. As he goes, he's, if I'm slow, he's going to hit me. I suggest starting with padded sticks and head protection, the things I do for video. We're here as he there. There's a lot of commitment on there. So as he retracts, I close. If he retracts and I haven't gone yet, nope, that's too late. If it's already all the way back, I can't crash at this point. So retract. Now if I crash, I'm dead. So I've got to be forward. There. As soon as that goes back here. Now it's true. He could be faking me. He could be faking back and then hitting me with a number five. So retract and then do like a stab here. Exactly like that. So if he's really good, it's possible 
that it's all a giant setup. But most of the people you run into in the street are not going to be skilled stick fighters to like go, yes, first I'm going to fake here and then I'm going to hit him with a, uh, a thrust. That's not going to be the case. Most of the time when the stick goes back, the stick's going to come back that same way. Don't give your opponent too much credit. And just remember, if you do have to go empty handed against a stick, if there's no way I can run, or there's no way I can arm myself, if there's no handy uh, tie pad around to use as a shield, <laughs> if this doesn't exist, if there's no garbage can lid, <laughs> if I can't find a stick, if I don't have my gun, if I don't have a weapon, then that chasm there, I've got a ranger, I've got to be far enough away that he can't hit me, but not so far away that I can't close the distance. And then I wait for that hand to retract, and then that's when I enter. What we do from here is a whole nother battle. This is an in-depth thing. It's possible that I can take the stick away and then give him a bit of his own medicine. Like I said, another topic for another day.